hiding place at least. Come back here and fight! Yeah, whatever guy. Looks like he's right outside. Seems this looks ridiculous and involves a lot of waiting. I tend to prefer doing like, playing this game for improvisationally long. instead of save crawling because uh, you have a lot more fun that way. Damn it. <laughs> well, serves me hey, for trying to get that. You thing. leave those kids alone. <laughs> this is just sad. See me? Are you going to search mode? Okay. <laughs> Come uh, back here and fight! Where did he go now? I don't know. Damn! Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. You can't hide for long. That, that I'm not going to be able to. Uh, I know you're uh, around here somewhere. When I find you, you'll regret it. I'll find you soon enough. I'll find you. Oh, wow, the whole place is looking for us. Alright, well... Hopefully we won't be interrupted here. Ooh, a papyrus. terribly good job of uh, introducing how this map gets interesting, but um, it definitely does. And, uh, yeah, you start running into things like that. I'm 
converting a lot of moss arrows early on, but I'm pretty sure you get some more later, so. All right, so this is kind of a classic thief setup, you know, there's like a brightly lit area out there, but I've got a vantage point from the shadows. And this guy has a long route that's gonna take him past this area, so I've put a moss arrow out so that as he turns the corner, I can jump out and, uh, you know, take advantage of the quiet ground to sneak up, to sneak up behind him silently, and then uh, hopefully blackjack him and clear out this big central area full of noisy floor. Dum, 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 dum. What do I see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. Just you getting knocked out. Okay. Alright, so we've dealt with him. What else is going to screw us over? Very, very exposed. Bright room, noisy floor. You're just really hoping that nobody shows up. There we go. Okay, um, this is the third floor. This is where things get weird. is still scary to me, and this level especially, um, and it's largely thanks, you know, like the graphics are not, you know, they're lo-fi and things are very primitive and blocky, but um, but the sound is really what makes this world still real to me, um, and it gets downright just unnerving in this level, um, and yeah, we're starting to get into weird Escher spaces, really cool. Noise. Um, yeah, yeah, it's getting it's getting weird. Sideways room. If I can get up. Yeah. I think I can get back up to some of these. Uh. Ah, damn it. Yeah, it's rough. It's... I should help myself to one of those healing potions. The last time I jumped from rats. Oof. So yeah, uh, that guy took me by surprise, and I used a flash bomb to basically put him back into the stunned slash unaware state. Um, and using him to blackjack. It's basically a get out of jail free card that allows you to still blackjack, even though you messed up, and a guy is. At you. So yeah, yeah, we haven't looked at the map much, but uh, we're now somewhere like where are we? Like you know, this seemed like it was going to be a relatively normal kind of castle keep sort of layout, but no, it, it's 
we went through a sideways. We went up some stairs and went through a sideways room and dropped down, and now we're in a garden. So it's really kind of. Uh, taking a swig of beer because uh yeah who goes there nobody seems clear enough now it does yeah <sighs> yeah i got these little scraps of shadow to work with Yeah, Thief's Lean is really interesting. It works in such a strange little way. You, uh, you know, normally, yeah, you lean and it translates you a little bit, but this way you can lean and then, like, it's changing your collision and, like, snapping you around, but not actually changing uh, your light crystal value because I guess it's sampling the value of the light map at your feet, and Garrett's feet are not moving when you lean. So, yeah, I can see all the way around this. And it's one of the many lovably busted things about the Dark Engine that... I think it's such an interesting piece of tech to me. <coughs> oh, wow, I was like stuck. Okay, that's good. No, okay. <coughs> okay, that was relatively nicely done. Refreshing. Surely there are more jerks in here. <laughs> trouble me. Hmm. This place. Yes. So this uh, this becomes relevant in another mission late in the game. Um, but I don't want to spoil anything about it. Um, it is also the entrance into Crazy Town, but I'll show you that in a second. First I want to go into this room. in this game are like quasi-musical, or I mean this one is pretty overtly musical. Um, and I really like that. It's another just idiosyncrasy of the of the world that makes it feel very uh, unique. Um, also the collecting treasure bling noise is uh, one of the happiest sounds I know of as a as a as a player of video games. So yeah, we go back to this, this one here. And we notice that there is a little thing you can pull. This is what leads us into a very secret part of this level. And I'm getting stuck on collision. I hope this does not cause me to drown. You swim and you swim and you swim, 